Yella Pragada Sibirao was born in a small town on the Pradesh, India in 1885. He had a traumatic childhood due to the death of his father, and his forced mother to sell a jewellery so that Sibirao could continue studying. During college, Sibirao started wearing khadi, which are handmade clothes, following Gandhi's message to not use British goods. This annoyed the British professor. Despite his performance, he was denied the MBBS degree, was awarded the last MT in medicine and surgery instead. A visiting American doctor encouraged him to go to the USA for further studies. Listening to his advice, Sibirao travelled to America and arrived in Boston in 1923. Due to his lesser degree, he wasn't able to secure any internship scholarships. Sibirao supported himself by cleaning hospital bedpans and other rubber jobs. After obtaining a diploma in tropical medicine from the Harvard Medical School, Sibirao joined the biochemistry laboratory of Dr. Charles Fisk. This sparked the numerous scientific discoveries of Sibirao and his team. One of Sibirao's most valuable contributions to science was his discovery of ATP. ATP is produced during respiration and is used in metabolic processes such as muscle contraction. His discovery disproved the idea that glycogen was used for muscle contraction. Sibirao also discovered heterazan, or diethyl carbamazine, which is used to treat parasitic worm infections in humans, cats and dogs. It treats many diseases, for example filiaresis, which causes the legs to swell. He also revolutionised antibiotics through his method of screening soil samples, which led him to grow mould A377 resulting in the development of chlorotetracycline, a first-of-its-kind antibiotic that was even stronger than penicillin, which delivers powerful activity against bacterial pneumonia and treats conjunctivitis in cats, dogs and horses, and infection wounds too. He also helped develop methotrexate, one of the world's first chemotherapy agents that slowed down your body's immune system. It also treats autoimmune diseases and continues to be on the World Health Organization's list of most important medicines needed in a basic healthcare system. His untimely death. Yella Pradaga Sibirao unfortunately passed away at the age of 53 in his sleep due to cardiac arrest in 1948. American author Doran Antrim said, You've probably never heard of Dr. Yella Pradaga Sibirao. Yet, because he lived, you may be well and alive today. Because he lived, you may live longer.